New information tonight. Headlines populations in at least 25 states, including here in Wisconsin, have become immune to most over-the-counter treatments. Now, it's all because of gene mutations. NBC26's Raquel Lamel has been speaking with health leaders all day, getting good information for parents. Raquel? Cassandra, the results of a new study show lice are becoming immune to traditional treatments. And now, as school approaches, health officials are giving advice to parents on how to prevent it before it becomes an issue. It's a little bug that's becoming a big hassle. They are a public nuisance, I will say that. As students prepare to head back to class, health professionals are preparing to see more cases of head lice. School nurses will find it, teachers will see it, some of the um, staff in the offices will see it. But now a new study by Southern Illinois University shows head lice are becoming immune to over-the-counter treatments. You know, you do the gold standard medicine for a treatment, you can repeat that treatment again. But sometimes the bugs don't die, and that's when doctors prescribe special treatments. And then we move on to some of the different medicines for suspected um, resistant strains. The only way to know if louse will be resistant is to try over-the-counter medications first. But health professionals say there are reasons for this mutation in head lice. If you're continually using the same shampoo and you're using it over aggressively, you can develop a resistance. That's why they say if you do find out you or your child has head lice, make sure to follow the treatment instructions carefully. Now, health experts say it's important to remember that head lice are more of a nuisance than a health risk. They don't carry disease and can't cause infections, but they can be difficult to get rid of. Raquel Amell, NBC 26. So here's what you need to know to prevent this type of lice. Health experts say do not swap hats with people, check your child's head periodically, and do not share brushes or combs.